Welcome to another midweek gear review and today I'm going to review something slightly different but something that is going to save me so much time and so much hard work and it's this it's the Seika mini electric chainsaw four inch blade and I've been sent this it's important to mention completely free of charge all the one for me is a review and what they want is what I'm going to give uh, an honest review because that's the only basis I will do any review the other thing I always insist on one I'm going to use it two it's good value and three really important it's good quality as well now I have seen a review of this particular product on a my very good friend Dominic Manicelli over in the USA he has one of these now I have just spent over two weeks cutting down bushes trees in my back garden uh, it's something I do every year it's something I do with a bow saw and it's something that every year that goes past I find it harder and harder to do so something like this theoretically should make that job so much easier very good price on these uh, there's 20 percent off in the uk at the moment as well i'll put an amazon link in the description to this product i get absolutely nothing for this at all i have no affiliate links so it's completely immaterial to me whether you buy one or not but if this is half as good as i think it's going to be and you're going to be in a similar position to me i think you would do yourself a favor by getting one anyway let's open it up and uh see what we've got inside eighteen volt battery which obviously need charging up i'm hoping to beat the rain which is forecast later on we've got a charger and the most important thing of all we've got the actual chainsaw itself four inch blade bit of movement there so i think that should be all right guard obviously when you're using it so i'm assuming this bit here will be your safety so you've got to push that and that at the same time it actually started really nice in the hand to be quite honest it does only weigh just over one kilogram so it is very very light so very convenient very small very compact it comes with a really powerful motor as well which is going to make cutting very very easy so we've got some oil in there seems to have evaporated a bit we've only got half a bottle in there but to be quite honest that's never ever going to be enough I must use all of that on the chain before and afterwards and I'm going to buy myself a nice big uh, bottle it is something that you will need got a tightening tool and also in there we've got instructions I know and I'm going to read but first of all I'm going to put the battery on the charge and uh, we'll take it from there and there's the battery charge indicator there now I'm red green color blind so I'm gonna to have to get Mrs. Metalman to check this for us uh, obviously if it's red it's not fully charged and once it turns to green it will be so this is the type of thing I've been cutting rhododendron getting a bit woody when you get branches like this it is real hard work and this is the other main culprit it looks quite nice from there until you want to get round the back like I have this year now when you're cutting I'll put my hand there when you're cutting that that is hard work all of these have been cut and these are the tools I've been using so also and pruners which again is hard work now the other job I do every two years is cut this cherry tree down and uh, take quite a lot of it off so I'm hoping with this uh, chainsaw 
it's going to save me so much work as soon as that battery gets charged up we'll see so in the uh, garage there now and so that's all the stuff that came in the box fully charged battery there now we've got the oil for the chain we've got this here that's the tension for the chain and we've also got this this actually holds the tension for the chain we're going to use the oil there now and we're going to give the chain a good oil there is an old saying less is more i would agree with that normally not with a chainsaw it needs plenty of oil beforehand and afterwards it needs a good clean and a good oil again so the other thing to mention is we've got down here we've got a guard for your fingers i mentioned the top guard there for the blade what i didn't mention was this which i think is a good idea you put your hands through there so if you were up high and something happened that wouldn't drop down to the ground we should be wearing safety glasses i have got some somewhere in the garage but i can't find them so my sunglasses are going to have to do uh, one thing i'll mention we've got mrs metal man on the camera so just to prove that you can uh, shake it about a bit if you want uh, whoa i'm in the camera right so oil the chain so battery is just going to slide on there so it is important when you're doing anything working with the chain at all that the battery is out so once that battery's in we're going to test the chain and that is some power there so let's go and test it outside so we'll try something small first so let's give this a go so that's gone straight through there i'm going to use two hands on here So let's see what that does. Now look at that there. That is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe that has gone through that so quickly. I am super impressed with that. This is going to save me so much work in the future. Well, unfortunately, rain stopped play yesterday, which is a pity because there's a heck of a lot more in the garden. I need to cut down, and this is the absolutely perfect tool for us. I just wish I'd had it a few weeks ago uh, before I had to do all that hand sewing. It would save me so much work. To be honest, I expected it to be good when I saw my mate Dom's video over in America. I didn't expect it to be as good as what it was, and I didn't think it would be able to handle some of the stuff uh, that I cut yesterday. It went through it like a knife through butter. So I am absolutely over the moon with this. Just another quick midweek video, another gear review. I say I do get asked a lot to do gear reviews. I turn down a heck of a lot more than I accept. I've got to be impressed with the product. I've got to be able to use the product and it's got to be good value in my opinion as well. So this ticks all three boxes for me. I've had two tents offered to us. Both of them I looked at, both of them I turned down because neither one of them I'd use because they're not as good as the tents I've got. I got asked to review a drone the other day. I'd love to have a drone. But when I looked at the product, it was cheap, it was nasty, and it wasn't even 1080p. My videos are filmed in 2K, so I would never use that footage. So I'll only review is a good product, something I'll use, and something I think is good value. Hopefully, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Uh, for the first time in ages, I've had to take the car down to the gym. Normally I walk down and walk back, but the weather has been so awful. With fingers crossed, that's going to change very, very soon. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Really would appreciate that. And hopefully it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.